Pour éviter le retour d'écho. D'accord, parfait. Alors, on recommence. Bonjour. <rire> Bonsoir. Um, hello, uh, good evening everyone. So, my name is Laurent Pimpou. It's a French name. I come from France. And uh, it's why Laurent is the equivalent of Lawrence in English. Okay, or Lorenzo, Spanish, or in Italian. I am a language training coordinator at the Collège Communautaire du Nouveau Brunswick. More exactly, to the Centre d'Apprentissage des Langues, the Language Learning Center. My job is to propose and promote French language programs based on the needs of newcomers. For now programs, the one I am going to tell you to speak to you about tonight, it's for refugees or for permanent residents. When we say refugees, it's the Kawet too for Ukrainian. All our programs are free for the assessment and for the training. No one has to pay for that. About the language learning center, we might say different things as this one. We are 30 years of experience. We serve every year more than 2,000 clients, and we have 12 locations in Atlantic Canada. We have most of them in New Brunswick, one in St. John's in Newfoundland, and other one in Charlottetown in PI. We also have a language assessment center, and annually we serve more than 3,000 assessments. We prepare language courses for newcomers, language training for professional, and customize language training. Our goal is to provide French courses adapted to, the, to your needs. That's why we call tailor-made language courses. This is really important. So some people prefer to focus on job, employment, some others on education, some others on the Canadian culture, and we can propose you different terms. You can work on the terms you want, depending on the choice made by the classroom, of course. At the end of each training, we deliver a certificate. You see here some people, they are very uh, happy to show you the certificate they received after the training they did with us. This certificate is made by lab. We propose not 12 level. There are 12 level in the CLIC program, but we propose at minimum six level. And with the level four, you can, for example, um, do the citizen test in French. So you have an ID at the level four, it's it's a good level because you can do the certificate, the, the, the citizen uh, test with it. Some other people here show you the, the paper they received after the training they did with us. Why is it so important to speak French in Canada? French and English are both 
official languages in Canada. Do you know how many people speak French in Canada? Do you have an idea? No, about 8 million of people. They can speak French. And, and New Brunswick in particular is the only one bilingual province in Canada. Around 320,000 people can hold a conversation in French in NB. It's around 40% of the population of New Brunswick. The program I am going to speak to you tonight are the program under IRCC. You know probably IRCC, it's the acronym for Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. So this one, this program are the ones I am in charge of. You can learn French or English without other program like uh, the BOLT, the, um, the Working NB uh, uh, program. But um, with me, it's only about IRCC and no others. This program are strictly reserved for permanent resident and refugees. We include Kuwaits, people of Ukraine, even they are not refugees or permanent resident. Even they have a work permit or a permit of students. But for others, if you have a work permit or a study permit, you are not eligible to follow them. In addition, if you become a Canadian citizen, you are no more eligible to follow our programs. And this is a problem we have every year. Some people start with us and they are permanent residents, but they are in the process to become Canadian citizen. And when they receive the official papers from uh, the government of Canada, they have to stop the training with us after they have to find by themselves another solution to continue to speak French. It's possible because there are other possibilities after. We have different program and among these programs, the most popular is this one, the CLIC program. This one is the major one we offer every year. The CLIC starts in September and ends in June. It is a year-round program with continuous entry. So, if you arrive, for example, in New Brunswick in January, you don't have to wait until September to start learning French. You can join directly the classroom with the teacher in January. So this permits to everyone to start learning French as soon as possible as when they arrived uh, here in the province. So, classes of CLIC are held twice a week, either in the mornings or evenings, online or face-to-face. -face. It depends on the location where you are. For example, in Moncton, you can follow a face-to-face -face class in the morning, either you can or you can follow an online class on the night. Here in St. John, we propose um, a face-to-face -face class for beginners. Uh, in St. John, it's a, a, a Coburg Street. 
at the Chinese Center. Yeah, I don't know if you know where it is, Coburg Street. And um, you can, uh, uh, our teacher, Nesim, um, is uh, able to receive you after a test, if you're a beginner, uh, to start learning French. We have also online classes for people who live, for example, in Sussex or too, too far from the city, or if they can come because uh, uh, there is only one person at home with kids and it's difficult for this person uh, to leave home to have a daycare. Uh, it's more an evening care than a daycare because uh, on the night it's not uh, really easy sometimes. So. Each class of the CLIC program lasts three hours. And we take a maximum of 12 people to make the learning effective. The level one is for real beginners. If you follow seriously this program for two years, you will be fluent in French. But I prefer to remind you that it is a strong commitment. You have to come two evenings per week from 6 p.m. to night, 9 p.m. And from September until June, you will improve a lot your French, but you have to work, of course, a lot also by yourself, okay? To learn a language is not only um, to follow the instruction of the teacher in the classroom. It's also to work by yourself, to go on the website, to uh, watch videos, uh, to try to read in French. Uh, the best things for you, for example, if you are beginners, it's to start reading uh, books for kids. This is a very good uh, um, uh, opportunity to learn French. And um, you have a, a library uh, in Saint John here where you can find because it is a, it's a public library. So you might have French book. You can find different uh, resources in French. And on the website, you can have a, you can find a lot of them. Now we have a second program that we call mentoring, based or focused on the employment. This one, maybe if we can, is it possible to, yes, you see, okay, it's correct. Um, the mentoring program is different than the CLIC. The CLIC is a collective program. The mentoring is an individual course. But we offer it to people who are at minimum assessed level four. So this one is not ready for beginners. It's more for people who have a minimum of education in French. This online training takes place over a 10 week period, two hours a week with a personal mentor to meet your professional needs. We have also another program that we call French for Parent. That one is more and more um, uh, popular in uh, uh, New Brunswick. This one is a collective, it's a cross group, 12 people at maximum. I do the assessment myself because for other programs, the assessment is made by our official center of assessments. Well, so when you want to learn a language, the first step is to be assessed. It's impossible to send you, to put you in a class if we don't know your level. So we have to start by this step and to know what is your level. So after you made the test, you receive your results and you have to send them to the center 
and then I put you in the good place, in the good class. So this online training, the French for Parents, takes place over a 10-week period, twice a week with two hours per lesson. So it's not three like the click, it's two hours, but it's twice a week. Generally, we propose Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday. Except for the CLIC program, we don't offer a weekend course. In the CLIC program, we, you have the possibility for people uh, who work too late in the night, for example, during uh, the weekdays, you have the possibility to learn on Friday evening and Saturday morning. So the Saturday morning, it's 9 uh, noon. The French for Parents, so, is during the week, twice a week, with two hours per lesson. Normally, there are three modules of sessions per year in a progressive succession. The next level will take place from April to June 2024. But probably I will restart a level one for complete beginners in April too. So if you are interested, it's time to register to this one. Who can register? You see here on the screen, it's um, immigrants with permanent residents whose children are attending a francophone school and daycares, or in a school with a French second language immersion program. So these are for the English school. I think it, this one is a good program for someone who can't um, be involved, for example, in a yearly program. Uh, this one is only 10 weeks, and it's sufficient to understand the instruction of the teacher to read some emails from the school and to read the report card of your kids. Of course, they are going to tell you that it's Fantastic, everything is marvelous. The teacher is very happy, but maybe it's not really the truth. <laughs> so it's why it's important to learn the language, the French language, and to be connected to the French school because they propose activities and it's a good way to integrate the community, the French community too. We have also a program that we call literacy and numeracy classes. So this one is face to face. It's impossible to do this one online. It's too much difficult for someone who don't speak any word, who can't read any letters to start online. He has to be with the teacher face to face to see the body language, to see the language on the lips, and to repeat, to repeat, to repeat the good sounds, okay? So it's more efficient in a face-to-face -face class than in an online class. This program that I launched this year is currently offered face-to-face -face in Mountain and Manston and Bathurst. I would like to open a face-to-face -face class here in St. John, if it's possible, if we have people I don't know, Shaima, do we have some people interested in this program? You think? Yes. Yeah. So now I have uh, to find a teacher for that. And this is another challenge because to find a teacher, you know that in Canada, we miss French teacher. Do you know how many French teacher we miss in Canada? The number? Do we know? Do you know? 10,000. 10,000 French teachers. It's completely uh, crazy, yeah? 10,000. So it's difficult. When we have one, we keep it, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't leave the class after. So the literacy and numeracy classes permit people to learn the alphabet and basic pronunciation in French, learn to read, write, and count, 
and we propose it for people. For example, we have a woman in Edmundston. Um, she currently works in an hotel, and she has to learn the basic instruction on doors, like do not disturb. The first one, uh, she saw that she didn't understand. It was in French, so she opened the door. It was not the good time for that. And now she learned uh, how to read instruction, and it's really better for her. Once again, you are not here to learn French, reading uh, Victor Hugo or the French academic authors. You are here to learn basic and pragmatic French. Okay, it's not, we don't offer you to, um, to learn an academic French, but a French which is very useful for you every day in your job, in at school, or in, uh, in, in stores. Maybe here in St. John, it's not easy to speak French in the store. But if you move in New Brunswick, for example, if you go to the north of the province, you would have to speak French. If some of you, you plan to move to Quebec, you have to learn French, especially not for, in Montreal, sometimes you can speak in English, of course. But in Quebec or in other city of Quebec, you have to speak French if you want uh, to have the opportunity to get the opportunity uh, of a job. And we have also another programs that we call workshops. They are French workshops. It's a short training. They last three hours and focus on a specific term as how to introduce yourself, how to ask a question. So this one is not sufficient to learn a new language. This one is just sufficient to, to be, um, how to say, um, to have a, a, very, a very small connection with the French language. And after, when you did this one, for example, if you if this program please you, you can go on the click program of the French for Parents program. We have another program in French that we call the BOL program, Blended Online Language Training. This one is different, and I am in charge of that. This one are under the authority of my colleague. And um, I just want to tell you a few words about that. If your boss, for example, says, now you need to speak a better French. In this case, you can go to the meeting with uh, the working NB counselor, and he will propose you to follow the ball program in French with the CCNB. This one is open to everyone. It's not reserved for permanent resident or refugees. This one is for work permit for everyone, even for Canadian cities. So generally, people who work in the administration, uh, they have uh, to improve their French if they want to have a better position because in the administration, more you go higher and more you have to improve your French. You have to be bilingual. This is a, a real fact. So the BOLT is a very, very good program, um, but this one is not mine. If you are interested, you have to communicate with uh, the uh, Learning Language Center, and I'm going after her to give you the email address to write to have more information about this one. So if you want <clears throat> to start learning French, what do you have to do? The first thing is, of course, to confirm that you are interested by the French language. Then after, 
<clears throat> you contact the language learning center and you do the assessment. The assessment is on the four skills, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. It takes, now it's very short, it's better than before. It takes about uh, two weeks at maximum when you write to the language learning center before receiving uh, a meeting, a proposition of meeting to do the assessment. You can do the assessment face-to-face -face or online. It depends where you live. <clears throat> Here in St. John, it will be online. <clears throat> After when uh, you have set the date of assessment, you do the assessment and you receive the results of assessment two or three days after. This is a, an important point. When you receive the results of your assessment, you have yourself, you have to send to the center for the training your results. I am in charge of the training, not of the assessment. The assessment, there are other people in my college, but they don't send me your results. They send results to you and you have to send them to me. Why to do simple <laughs> way to do complicated when we can do simple, okay? <laughs> but it's like this, okay? And then after, <clears throat> when I receive your results, according to your level, I put you in the good group and according to your choice, if you want the click program, the French for parents, or the mentoring, and of course, depending on the availability of the teacher, of your schedule, of uh, um, the class. Sometimes we have some classes, they are completely full, and we have to put you on a waiting list before starting. But don't worry about the waiting list because sometimes it doesn't take a long time before uh, to have place. We have some people who start in September and after, um, for example, two months after they move, they go to Quebec or they go to another province. So they leave the class or they have a new job with uh, a new schedule. So they have to leave the class too. So generally when a turnover and you might have the possibility to start learning French not in a long time. It depends where. Here in St. John, we have some place right now in the face-to-face -face class for level two and three. So if you are in Perspert, for example, um, you can uh, write uh, to the language learning center um, two weeks at maximum after uh, you will re you will have your assessment. You will receive your results uh, two or three days after, and I put you immediately in the class of Nessim in Saint John, um, in the uh, Coburg Street. You can follow us on on Facebook if you want. And now the most important, it's to write us at this address or the other. They are exactly the same one. Was it one is in French, the other one is in English. So if you want to use the French one in French, it's long. In English, it's language. Don't worry about French. French is a Latin language. So when you know that 56% of English vocabulary words come from Latin. You will be astonished how many words are similar in French and in English. The pronunciation is difficult. The understanding is difficult, but the writing is very easy. Important, important. Strategy, strategy. 
distance, distance. So they are exactly the same words. It's the, the listening which is difficult and the, the speaking to the accent. So you have this address, so please don't write to me directly because I manage around 400 people and so I couldn't answer to each one of you. Some of you, you will receive an email from me, and most of you, and all of you after. You have my phone number on the email. Please don't use it except in an emergency situation. If you are in a classroom and the class uh, the door is uh, closed, okay, I'm right to to answer you, but not for uh, for regular questions. I prefer to answer you by email. So there is only one thing to do. And that's to write to the following address. So the long you see CNB or the language. Okay, you choose the one you want. They are exactly the same. I receive them, and uh, after we dispatch them. Okay, because some people wants they want to follow the Bolt program. Some others they want to follow the IRCC program. Some others want to follow uh, the program for the public hospital, for example. Horizon, so they are all different, okay? Once again, my programs are under IRCC. And now, your first lesson, who can read me this in French? I'm listening to you now. Okay, <laughs> you're not a beginner. <laughs> you speak a little bit French? We have we okay. Voilà, vous voyez, cours, courses, cours, c'est pas très compliqué. Hein? It's not very difficult. Okay. After what it is, what is difficult? It's uh, the the structure of the sentence. It's different in French than in English. Okay, we don't ask exactly the same questions. Uh, the place of adjectives, for example. Okay, in English, we put the adjective before the words, the, the, name, the name, the noun, and in French, most of the time, it's after. We have some exception, but uh, um, to learn a language is to practice. Practice this one every day. It's not difficult. Um, I promise you that uh, if you work at minimum 15 minutes every day, you will improve very, very quickly your French. Now, the most difficult is to find 15 minutes per day. I have a student, he did this, and in the three, in the three years, he was completely fluent. He could speak with me like a French people, French person. It was crazy, but he did it. It's a strong commitment. But it's not difficult. You have to learn rules and then after to practice regularly uh, to, to read and to try to speak. If you go to the Samuel de Champlain Center, which is the French center in, in St. John, you can speak French with people. Okay, when they have event, you have to speak with them. If you go to Mountain, it's a good place to speak French in Dieppe. Dieppe is. Um, about uh, uh, 30,000 people speaking French. And it's the first language, and yet it's the French. When you open the door of a store, you, you have to speak French in Dieppe. So this is the good way to practice. Okay. That's all for my presentation. Now, if you have some question to ask me, I will try to answer you. And... Uh, I probably forgot some information and you probably had some questions to ask me. We have some questions? Yes. Would it be to learn French and then just go through the assessment to assess? Same results, same results. Absolutely, yes. If you decide 
to learn French. What you have to do is to write to the email address long, uh, that one here. Yeah. Ah, okay. Langue, centre langue, point ccnb.ca. You write to this one and write in English. Okay, it's not a problem, this. And you tell inside, I want to have some information about your programs. I send you a link. You read the link quietly. And after, uh, you say, I want to choose this one. And you make an appointment. You ask to the assessment center to make an appointment to do your assessment. You have to wait maximum two weeks. You will receive the proposition of the center. They will assess you. They will send you results two or three days after assessment. And then you have to send me your results. And after you are in the process with me, okay? At the beginning, you are with me to have some information about the link for this program. And after you don't hear about me, you work with, you deal with the assessment center. And when you have your results, you come toward me. And then I put you in a class depending on your results and on the availability of the teacher and depending of your schedule too. Because some people are free on Monday and Tuesday. That's a, not a good point. We ask you to be free on Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, maybe for the click program on Friday and evening and Saturday morning. Here in St. John, I repeat, the face-to-face -face class is on Monday and Monday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. in Cobber Street in the Chinese Center. Sorry. Monday and Wednesday, yes, yes. But, sorry, it's the, the click program. The click program is the, the most important first, okay? It's probably the, the strongest commitment, but it's the most efficient if you want to speak French, because from September until June, you will have two classes per week. That's different with the French for program, the way the French for parents or the mentoring, it's only over a 10 week period. But for the click program, this one is the biggest program. It's September, June, twice a week. We just make a break at the Christmas period and on the March break, for example, next week, we stop for one week. And we have also sometimes some classes. We try to develop them uh, during holidays, uh, July and August. But the most important classes are from September until June. Now, if you are not free on Monday and Wednesday, you can ask, even if you live on St. John, for an online program. What you have to do for the online program, what you, have, you must have um, a computer. Please don't use the cell phone, okay? It's not efficient. Um, for a program like uh, the click. At minimum, a tablet, like an iPad, for example, or a computer, a laptop. The best is to have a headset, a microphone, um, because with, with the headset, you will hear better the teacher, okay? And once again, one of the big challenge for people is to understand the pronunciation. Okay, more you will be focused on the voice of the teacher, the uh, better you will uh, improve or quicker you will improve your, your French. And to be in a quiet place too. Okay, so to avoid to have kids, huh? I remember was I was a, a teacher, I saw some kids 
they were behind the father or the mother and they were like this, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the best situation for learning. It was cute. It's not the good one. And then to try to avoid to be in the dining room too, because uh, three hours, it's very long, very long. The best is to have an office or a bedroom, a quiet bedroom. Okay. And then um, if we can, uh, we will open another um, class in Saint John, maybe not this year, but next year on uh, Tuesday and Thursday, for example. Okay, we would like to have um, from Monday to Thursday, like we have in Edmundston, like we have in Mountain, like we have in Bathurst, uh, like uh, we have in Fredericton, not this year, but uh, before uh, we consider Saint John as a very important position, and we would like to develop uh, French classes with you. And we are here for you, and we will try to give you um, the, 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 the learning the most efficient, the more adapted to your needs. That's why we ask you sometimes, we send you surveys, and we want to know if it's okay if we, you want that we change some things because uh, uh, probably uh, it's not exactly what you wanted or we, we try to develop. And when some people, for example, arrive at the level four, if they want to stop to be in the collective group, the click one, they can uh, be transferred on the mentoring program. Okay, the mentoring program is less um, it's uh, only two hours per week, but two hours with a teacher, and it's an individual course. So it's very, very, uh, you are very tired after two hours like this, okay? And once again, the teacher will help you to give you homework to do and to send you different resources to watch on the, the website because you're the big part of your success. The success doesn't come from the teacher. The success comes from you. Another question, probably? Sorry? We, ah, okay, I see the question now, okay. Um, yes, once again, you can't start learning a language without being assessed. So the first step is to be assessed. For all programs, you have to be assessed by the assessment center, except for the French for parents. For the French for parents, it's with me. And it's very, very short. For example, you send me an email on Monday. I answer you the same day. And I propose you a meeting, a very short meeting on the cell phone um, the Tuesday. And after, you have to start the official date when we launch the program. So the next um, session will be in April. April. Okay? At the beginning of April. Okay. Hello. No, I should have worked. Hello. Who can see your message? A few? Oh, yes, we just are you. I wish. We change the status uh, for work permit holder to permanent resident? No. For uh, the bulk program, uh, if at all, also if ever we started the bulk program and have changed the status of work permit holder to permanent resident, can we change program that are for permanent resident? Yes, you can. Yes. Yes, absolutely. You can follow an um, IRCC program with a work it work with a work permit, okay? This is impossible. You have to be a permanent resident or a refugee. So now, if you start the ball program 
um, they, they, they are independent, okay? Board program is under the authority of working in B, that is provincial. IRCC is federal. The budget are completely different, completely. So you can start learning the board program, and after, if you want to continue with the IRCC program, the click one, you have to be a permanent resident or a refugee. You have to be assessed. And I think, um, let me check, but I think that you, now you don't need, I think, to be uh, assessed once again because you were assessed for the board program. So you have to send me your results. And if you match, it's okay, I put you in a group. Le quoi, le PowerPoint mm, Généralement, on a mieux que ça. On, ce qu'on va vous proposer, what we're going to propose you, it's not to share the PowerPoint, it's to share a link which is more general and there are the you will find more information in this link. The PowerPoint is just a part of the information. The link I propose to send you uh, will open more, uh, will give you more information. Oui, on va, on va pouvoir, ce que je, what I can do is to, to share it to you, for example, and after you can uh, write to Shaima, or Shaima, you can write to the list of people and uh, you can, they can have it, okay? Yeah. Yes, so you would like to know what is the, the good program for students, okay, yeah. because they have a, a student permit. Yeah. Um, um, except the boat permit, uh, but the board permit, uh, it means that they have to work at the same time. They are students and they work too. If they just are students, we don't have any program for them. Not a program under IRCC, but they can, for example, attend the French program in the regular uh, training at the CCNB. So it's completely different. This one is an academic program and they have to learn at minimum two uh, years and it's uh, every day, it's uh, five or six hours per day. So this one is different and they have to pay for this one. Oui, oui. If you want to 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 be assessed for IRCC program, you must be a permanent resident or a refugee. If not, you are not eligible for that. Because he asked for the board permit, okay, is not under IRCC. He is under working and B. This is the big difference between them. Yes, yes, yes. Permanent resident, refugees, and Kuwait for Ukrainian. Okay, Ukrainian. Okay. And I know it's a big yeah. challenge for students because uh, uh, they, um, they have no possibilities to, to student. They, they come for studying. Just say, just say, we, may, what we can. What we propose to people is not the good answer for the stu for students. Okay, I just speak a very good French. <laughs> okay, where do you come from? Ah, okay, right, right. I see you. <laughs> very good French. Okay. 
Oui, mais voilà, il faut qu'ils travaillent. Et puis, alors, attention, be careful, because when a student, for example, wants uh, um, to, to make a meeting, to make an appointment uh, with uh, the counselor of working in B, uh, after the decision is under, uh, the, is between the hands of working in B, Sometimes the counselors, they say, no, you don't need, we don't want to pay for you a complete training. So uh, sorry, but uh, we prefer to reserve the place for someone who really need it. We consider, for example, that for a student it's not necessary, but someone who is working and who has big troubles, who can uh, lose his job, uh, we want to give him the opportunity Uh, to, to, to learn French as soon as possible. The ball program is very intensive, very intensive because the challenge is to be sure to speak French at minimum to keep your job. Okay, if you, so, some people have to leave their job because they don't speak enough French. Okay, this is a problem. It's exactly the same thing in the administration, in the Uh, the public administration. If you if you want to um, to access a higher level, you have to improve your French. If you if you don't improve your French, you will stay at the same level. This is a problem. Okay. Do we have some other questions? No. Here in the face to face public, <laughs> no. Okay. I hope you receive it. Is it clear for you? Yes? Yeah, okay. So I share the link with Shaima and Shaima uh, will send you the link after because you are in the listing of the association and you will receive all the information, okay? The, 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 The link summarizes what I exposed you, what I told you, and um, you will have more information than I, I gave you tonight. Thank you so much for everyone, for people online, um, for everyone here in the in the room, and thank you for the Sanjian Newcomer Centers to give me the opportunity to come and to explain you what uh, the, the function of the CCNB is. So CCNB is the French college and BCC is the English one. They are exactly the same, but the CCNB use the French language, the NBCC use the English language. And the CCNB is on More on the north of the province, we have location in uh, uh, Edmundston, Campbellton, uh, Caracat, Chipago, um, uh, and uh, Moncton. And now we have one in Mirbai Michi too. Of, it's not the CCMB, it's a part of the Language Learning Center. The Language Learning Center is a part of the CCMB, and, uh, CCMB sorry. We used to say that it's a campus in the campus, okay? It's not exactly the CCNB, it's a college of language in the CCNB, but everything is under the responsibility of CCNB, of course. Oui. Ah, oui, all our programs are free. Uh, sir, the ball program is free, If you are referred by the counselor of working in B, okay? Imagine that you want to follow him. If you are not referred, I guess it's possible to follow him, but you will have to pay for that, okay? So if you want to do it free, you must be referred by the N working in B counselor. Okay. Who wants to try to ask me a question in French except you? <laughs> Who wants to make a short, short question? Try to do it. 
Lady. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Ah, okay. Hi, I have a question. My name is Kong. Yes. Hello, so Kong. Why, why don't we have this uh, session earlier? I mean, a few years ago. I mean, this is the, the first time you come here and introduce this section to us. Pardon? I mean, um, this is the first time. Uh, you introduce this section to uh, San John Newcomer Center, or we have this earlier, I mean, a few years ago? No, it's the first time I come here, yes. Yes, uh, we we start to work more and more in San John, with San John Association now, and um, it's why I thank, I thank them again uh, to give me the opportunity to come here. Uh, we have three big cities in uh, New Brunswick, Fredericton, Moncton, and St. John. Uh, in Moncton, the center is very developed. It's very big. Uh, in Fredericton, uh, it's big too, but not as in, in Moncton. And we would like now to develop uh, in St. John. And the class in St. John um, is now uh, um, more and more busy. Okay, We have more and more people. Um, if you remember, I told you that uh, uh, the number of people is a maximum of 12 people for each class when it is a collective group. And in St. John, in September, we had 12 uh, people in the class. But I told you that some of them moved or they changed uh, their job and um, we received some other people uh, some of them would like an online class because they live at 30 or 40 kilometers. Uh, during uh, the night, it's not easy to travel, except to, especially today. <laughs> today is a bad day for traveling. And yeah. uh, twice some people prefer uh, online. But please note that if you are a beginner, I recommend... I recommend strongly to start learning a language in a face-to-face -face class. To learn a language in an online class is very, very difficult. And some people struggle a lot because it's too hard. At the beginning, you need to be with the teacher. You need to be near the teacher, to, to speak with him and to interact with him in the face-to-face -face class is easier than online. Online, when you are 12, if you want to speak five minutes of you, it's 60 minutes. 60 minutes, it's one third of the class. When you are in a face-to-face -face class, it's so easier. Because one is speaking, the other one is speaking to another one, another one, another one. And a lot of people can speak more than five minutes in one hour. You understand? That's really better for you. After in level three and four, okay, the online class is probably a good option. But not for learning at the beginning. Is it okay, Colin? Uh, yeah, thank you. Can I have another question? Yes. Um, how many level we have here in St. John at the moment? At the moment, uh, we start with the level one and two. And now uh, uh, from uh, March, they will do the level two and three. So uh, yeah. if you want to start from the beginning, I have to find another option to open an, another class for level one. But once again, the big challenge for all college is to find a French teacher. We okay. miss 10,000 French teachers in Canada. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's for all provinces the same. I had a meeting with someone of the Northwest Territories uh, two weeks ago. It's the same. They are looking for French teacher because they, are, they, 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 they have a lot of people asking them for uh, French learning. Yes, we. I'm totally uh, right with you, sir. Um, more and more people want to learn French. 
French will be an important language in the world uh, due to the growth of Africa, for example. Um, the, 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 using the French is more and more, uh, of course, evident. It's uh, uh, more and more people want to speak French. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Some other questions? Or Nisreen, do you want to? Yes, I share the link after with uh, Shaima and she will share with everyone to be sure that uh, they have all information about what I said and more than what I said. And someone asked me about the application. I wonder if you asked in the chat about how we use the application. Well, the application, uh, when you want to register for the assessment or the training, it's the I sent form. I don't know if you know this system, I sent. No. Um, mm, now it's really better. Most of people uh, success have a success to to register with this application. In the past, it was sometimes difficult, but now um, if you have a problem, you can write to me and I uh, will help you uh, for the application, but it's not really difficult. It's not really difficult. You have to use the same ISEN form for both assessment and training, but you have to start in the good order. The first use is for assessment, and the second use is for training. So generally, it's uh, three weeks after. Okay. So I send you the link of the program, everything. When you write to the to the email address, I answer you. I send you everything uh, that you saw tonight. Um, I give you the ISEN form. You have to follow instruction to register for the assessment. And then after, it's you deal with the assessment center. Two or three weeks after, you send me your results. And then after, we are in connection. Okay? You and I. But for the training. Mm -hmm. Ah, <laughs> excuse-moi. Oui, j'ai une question. Oui. We, we have a child, so that's my time. Uh, so she knows more than me that publish. No, this is a problem that we meet uh, regularly. Um, we ask people to avoid to come at the face-to-face -face class with child. No. Ah, no, no. The uh, IRCC program is reserved to people who are at minimum 18 years old. This is the age of the majority for the federal government. Okay, in New Brunswick here it's 19 because it's provincial, but at the federal level it's 18, like uh, in some, uh, some provinces it's 18. Oh, sorry, no, this is a. Uh... Now for kids, <laughs> you know, she was always. <laughs> for kids, it's the same question. They are students, and it's once again, this is a problem. We don't, uh, we don't offer uh, classes for kids or for teenagers, just for adults. Is the process from the from the time they when they write to the language center, um, after they are assessed, about two weeks after. About two weeks. Yes, it's really better than, than before, because before it, it, it might be sometimes three or four weeks. Now it's maximum two weeks. And then after they receive the results, two or three days after, and they send me the results, and I interact uh, immediately, and I propose them a group, a class, 
except if the class they want is full. In this case, I put people on the waiting list. And they will know if they're on the waiting list. Yes. After you you communicate with me, okay? We exchange regularly. Okay, everything is by mail. Um, please avoid to call me because it will be impossible for me. <laughs> I repeat, I have about 400 students to manage, so I can't receive it. Yes, and more than New Greens Week because I managed to in uh, Newfoundland and in PI. So I manage about 12 locations. So it's a lot, yes. The assessments yes what, what do you do in the assessment yeah there are four skills in the assessment okay. so there is the speaking the listening the reading and the writing so it can be face to face or online when it's face to face is with a teacher you speak with him he give you some text to read and you have to write and after uh, he give you your your mark he give you your level uh, online, uh, there we have a proctor uh, because uh, if it's online, the assessor is not with you. He's uh, um, with you via the computer, okay, the laptop, but there is someone near you as a proctor uh, to control you, to be sure that uh, you don't use a chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now, it's very difficult for people who don't speak any word, okay? We, we understand that when you're assessed, and if you don't speak any French word, we have some people that don't speak English, they don't speak French, they speak Arabic, for example. In this case, or they speak language in, in Africa, so Swahili or some uh, language like this. So we try to have someone who can translate for them. Okay, and uh, the, the person uh, don't translate exactly the assessment, but he, he, he tells the person what she has to do. Okay, and uh, the, so you're going you're gonna to assess me on my French speaking ability. Sorry, are you assessing me on my French, French speaking ability? Or what are you assessing? Yes, yes, we, we, be, be for example, someone who don't know a, a refugee who don't know how the computer work how uh, uh, to open the program because everything is written in French or it's in French. So there is someone who helped him or her at the beginning, but after the person has to answer by herself or himself directly to the question. If he doesn't understand, uh, the level will, will be one, of course. Yeah, it seems like if he doesn't speak any French, how, how can he answer this question? He doesn't answer, and we did that. That the level is one. Even you don't speak any French word, you have to do the assessment. We we see immediately if you can react or not. If you understand some words, if I speak French, huh, Madame, si je parle, vous comprenez. Uh, Okay, she reacts in French. But if you don't react in French, we deduct that your level is one. Yeah, I think it helps them to be able to the right level for you because a lot of people think they have zero sense, but actually they can do that. Yes. So in the yes, you're absolutely right. Bigger. Yes, uh, and this is a, a challenge after when we put some people who are very shy. They say, no, 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 I don't speak French. No, 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 I don't speak French. Uh, they speak French. <laughs> but they are afraid to say that they speak French. So they arrive in the level one, and when the teacher starts speaking with everyone, they answer, they answer, they answer, they answer. They answer. And other people around them can't improve. Okay, so we put these people in level two or three. Okay.
Yes. <laughs> it's <laughs> tricky, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, generally, some people in the label French they say uh, bonjour, merci. That's all. No more. Yes, we have some surprise sometimes. Yes. No, I think it's a, it's the, the good way to start. Okay, we are sure about the level of the person after, and uh, we don't have to change people to put them from one class to another class after uh, the, 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 the the class to start. Okay. One question more. I hope you receive uh, any information uh, you wanted to know. And I hope to see you not in a long time now in our classes and in the classes of Nesim in St. John. Nesim is our French teacher. At the time I'm speaking, he's uh, in class uh, tonight uh, because we are Wednesday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. with uh, his and her students. Yes, you can take some flyers and for people who are online, uh, you have some flyers for them. So when they will come at the center here and uh, they can pick up uh, uh, different uh, flyers. Okay. Thank you so much to everyone. Have a good night. Je vous dis bonsoir. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir à tout le monde. <laughs> I hope to see you. Au plaisir. Bye bon. bye. Bon <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Je vous en prie. Merci. Oui, voilà. Et donc, Et il faut faire attention, we have to be careful, because someone who can say uh, merci, je parle un peu. It's more level two than level one. And the level one is completely unable to speak. But if you say, for example, bonjour, uh, je m'appelle Laurent, uh, uh, je suis français, uh, this is a level two, okay? It's not a level one. The level one is uh, bonjour and no more.